fiance, Devin. <laughs> and we are moving to Japan. Japan! Japan. Yeah, we're moving to Japan. 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 Next year. Next year. Wait, slow down. I didn't answer any questions oh, yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're skipping ahead. All right, so I have, this is our Japan. We figured we'll do a Q&A since, you know, you guys don't know that we're moving yet until you watch this video. So I have questions for us. The first question is, what base are we moving to? <laughs> we are moving to Misawa, Japan. And Misawa, so there was three options but we only picked two on the list, right? So we picked what? Misawa and Yokota. And what was the other one? There was three, but we didn't pick them. Is it Okina? Okinawa? Okinawa. So we're gonna be moving up north. A lot of snow. It's gonna be a lot of snow. It's like one of the, supposedly from what they sent us from Japan, the most snow of all military bases. But not the coldest, right? You said not the coldest. No. To me, that seems like it's the coldest. What would be the coldest? Alaska? Cold. Yeah. But like, I guess we don't freeze. Antarctica? Maybe like, yeah. if I go up there. But yeah, probably Alaska. Alaska, probably. So we're gonna be moving, the prefecture is, I believe, Om Omani. Yeah. Omani? If I that's how you, how you say it, I don't know. We'll have to learn these things. Anyway, so we're moving to Misawa, Japan. So I actually been watching YouTube videos for months now, and there's actually uh, Patricia. Uh, shout out to you. She has she's at the Yokota base, so I've been learning a lot just in general about Japan and bases because this will be my first time moving with my new fiance. At that by that time, he'll be my husband. Mm -hmm. It's creepy, right? Future. He'll be. Be so different. She was in Yokota, so I'll be like the Misawa chick on YouTube telling everybody all about Misawa. Mm -hmm. So, second question is What was your first reaction when you found out oh, about that's Japan? Right. He was super excited. We found out he got the follow on. So, he's leaving in this October 2018. Um, I'm not going to mention where for safety reasons, but he's leaving on a short tour in October for a year. So Japan's our follow-on. And we made a list, so my, I was hoping we got Hawaii. So we put two Hawaii's on top, because I've never had Hawaii on the list. Japan, what else we put? Spain, because I have family in Spain. Australia, anywhere else? I think that's it, right? We put two oh, Japan. Germany. Oh, and Germany, and that was it. So we got Japan, so he was super excited. And then what was my reaction? <laughs> you were excited and not. I was like on the fence. I was in between. I was like really upset that we didn't get Hawaii, for sure. And then all the shock came in and I was freaking out. But now I'm excited, right? No, now I'm super pumped. Next question. What did you think, what did you think my reaction was gonna be once you knew like, that same thing. That it was going to be off on the fence or yeah, like... Well, you're going to be happy and I'm not. <laughs> probably happy later. Like. <laughs> and uh, my, I, I knew he was going to be happy. He's been wanting to go to Japan since we've met. Well, yeah. I hit Europe before, so... Yeah, he lived in Italy for three years. So. But he's been talking about Japan since we've dated. And I, at the first, I never wanted to even go. He manifested it for sure. And we have a Japanese dog. She's a Shiba Inu, going back to her homeland. Shiba. Sure. I'm pointing because she's over there, but she they, they can't see her. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, do you think I like Japan? <laughs> oh, yes and no. Yes and no? Why don't you think I will like it? Family. Yeah, that's like one reason I will miss my family a lot. It might take you a minute too for the culture. The culture? Show. I think I'll have culture shock. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I know I already know. He loves he loves to travel. That'd be easy. So he's he's good. Okay. That was a, more of a question for me. Next question. 
What are you most excited about Japan? Sushi. Sushi. What are you most excited about Japan? Just gave you them. Yeah, but you're not looking at the camera, so we're starting over. What are you most excited about Japan? Sushi. Sushi. What else? Um, wrong. The food. He's really excited about food. Well, there's some travel too. Can we travel? Anything else? I'm excited that, actually, the first thing that I checked when I got home was to see what, if Young Living, oh, if Japan was a part of Young Living, uh, no, if Young Living was part of Japan, that was the first thing that I looked the moment we got home, and then I was more excited, so I was like, okay, I could do this, <laughs> um, so I'm excited about that, I'm excited for the cherry blossoms, yeah, the true. cherry blossoms. I'm excited for a season change, although I don't like the cold, but I'm excited. I'm excited. For, he said hot springs. Hot springs. The hot springs. That'll be cool. All the, the temples. All the shops with animals. Yeah. They have like a bunch of like animal places with like animals, like Fox That'd Village. Cool to see. Yeah. But those are kind of far. That's not like, yeah. like we have I to mean, travel yeah. to see that. I'm excited for the fall. I miss fall, the fall season so much. I'm not excited about the cold though. You like the cold. Yeah. What else I'm excited? Obviously the travel. Ski. No, I'm not excited about ski. <laughs> I hate layers. Um, what else am I excited about? I'm excited to be done with school because I'll be done with school by then. So it's like official after a decade of school. I'll be done besides whatever else I'm gonna learn on my own school. school. Okay, how long will we live there? living there three years. Yeah. That's a long time. Most people, it's a long time. Most people are like, wow, three years. But they're usually excited. Okay, next question. What are you worried about? Nothing. With Japan? Nothing? Nothing. You're not worried about anything? <laughs> I'm worried uh, about numerous things. Well, first I'm worried to bring the animals over. Because they have to go yeah. on the plane, like that's 15 hours. But that's more be a pain. going to Japan. I'm, not there. I'm worried about not fitting into the culture because I'm super loud and yeah. yeah right. They're more about quietness and yeah, I don't know how I'll fit in, in that department. And then my family, like I'm just worried I'll miss, like, miss them even more because it's further away. But maybe not because I'll be going back home. But, so I'm worried about that, and I'm worried about veganism there, the food. That part I'm definitely worried about, how I'm going to be eating. Because they don't have, like, processed products like we do for, like, you know. I don't, I don't think they're going to have, like, tofurkey or anything like that. Or, like, the processed meats, from what I know, from, from my knowledge, from watching the videos. So we'll see. Not that it's not possible. There are people with videos vegan in Japan, but that's definitely something I'm worried about. Okay. Let's see. What is the first thing you want to do in Japan? Sushi. <laughs> sushi. You want to get sushi. I'm not supposed to say that. Vegan. You're um, supposed to be vegan. So we're gonna be we're gonna be going there in October 2019. So first thing I think I would be excited about is seeing the temple. Yeah. Cause we'll be by we're close we're, we're gonna be close to one of them, one of the temples. And I'm excited to just be living in Japan, like, cause we're gonna try to live all face, right? Yeah. So just being immersed in the culture. The first thing to like, Last question from from my list. Will we be learning the language? As much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah. So we already already have the app du Duolingo. Duolingo. And we started, but so much stuff has happened, but now we gotta get back into it. And now that he'll be like leaving, we'll practice. I'm so bad doing. at it too. Bad at it? Like Languages. I'm better than him. So I'm already bilingual, so I think I'll have an easier so time with him. Forgetful. 
We're just gonna have to practice a lot. That's one of the things we'll do when he goes on a short tour, is practice that, because it'll give us a chance to do something together. And I'll be learning it on my own as well, just in general. Because I, I really want to go there, at least knowing the basics. Yeah, like I, hello, right? thank you. Hello. Some menu items. But a little bit more than that, you know? Like, yeah, some menu items. Yeah, That's menu important. items. That's important. Reading some characteristics, I would like to... That's really hard, though. Character. That might... Characters, I mean. It's characteristics, not characters. It's <laughs> characters. So, we'll be learning Jap Japanese. We have, like, what, a year and a half to learn? A little less than that. Less. Almost, like, a year to learn. So I figured if we practice, and there's like a site that I found that you could practice with someone so I could teach them English and they could teach me Japanese. So I might do that too if I have time. We'll see if I have time to do it. You're but busy. we're going to immerse ourselves really in the culture for sure, right? We're those kind of peeps. We're not going to just go there and not learn Japan. Japan. We're not going to, I just did a mom thing. <laughs> we're not going to learn Japanese. My mom said, to speak Japan. Speak Japan. All right, guys. So also, that, those are all the, the questions that we have. If you want us to do another Q and A, definitely leave questions that you have for us down below. And I'm sure we'll be doing these in Japan yeah. together too. We'll be doing them because he's in the military, in the Air Force. So I'm sure we'll get a lot of questions from military people too. Um, so then we'll, uh, we'll do that. And also, you guys get to see every step of the way to Japan. You get to see when we move there, us on the flight to Japan. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a little bit of chaos. You'll see us picking out a, a house. A lot of not a lot of chaos. Well, we have the animals, yeah. so we're that's something I'm really worried about is the animals. But we will have us moving in, us picking a new place, us moving into our new place, and then our whole experience in Japan. It'll be cool to have all that documented for our future kids, right? Mm -hmm. All the kids that we're gonna have. Two. 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 I want four. We could do that for another Q and A. All right, guys. Other than that, we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye. To... <laughs> bye. You don't have to do that. You could just say bye. No, it's a baby.